Hello everyone, this is Rich. Uh, this is just a quick little tutorial on how to configure an instant messenger in Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu Linux that you're looking at right now. Uh, at the bottom of my screen I have uh, a web browser. This is uh, the Firefox browser which comes with it. And I also have the OpenOffice document writer which is also here. Uh, Actually, before I continue, just a little side note. If you ever have anything on your desktop, you want to delete it. If you want to know where the trash is, it's way at the bottom here. And I have two items in the trash. If I right-click this and left-click empty trash, it'll ask, empty all items from the trash? Yes. That's essentially, and you'll notice that the bin is now, it says no items in trash, and there's nothing there. But anyway, this is going to be about the instant messenger. The default messenger that comes is a multi-function, meaning multi-provider. It can connect to several services at once. It's called game. It's under applications, then internet, then game, and then you launch it. Okay, here we go. It's very simple. We just click the add button, and then you have to choose the protocol. The protocol means the uh, service that you want to use. Aim it excuse me, AIM and ICQ are the same. So if you want to put in an AIM account, I'll put in mine for example. And then I'll choose to remember the password and then I'll click save. You notice it's in the list but it's offline. I'll show you how to make it online in a second. I'll add another one. Now I'll put in an ICQ account. and remember password and save. The uh, AOL one just went online and the other one now that's online too and you'll see things start popping up in the message list. Now I'll go ahead and add a different one. Now there's a bunch of them here. Some of them you'll probably not use but I'll go ahead and put MSN which is also Windows Live. Remember the password, hit save. And now I will go ahead and I will add a Yahoo account. Remember the password, click save. And that is essentially it. When you start loading in accounts and as they become online, you'll see more things start to appear in the message list. Now what you'll notice here is that in the uh, friend list here, the icons look really huge. You can click on buddies and then where it says show buddy details, you get rid of that and the icons are a lot more manageable size. Depending on the service they're on, that's the icon you'll see. For AOL ones you've got the AOL icon and Yahoo ones and so on and so forth. And uh, also in the preferences area you have basically all the preferences that you have in most messengers you can choose to show formatting or buddy icons or in animations you can change the fonts you can change the smiley theme you can change all the sounds you can change uh, a bunch of other stuff which is good the one thing which confuses people most about uh, game that they haven't used it before is that you don't need a bunch of different applications just to have uh, different messenger services it handles all the ones that you need so for AOL, ICQ, MSN, Yahoo and uh, let me just check the other ones here there's also uh, GroupWise and uh, it does Internet Relay Chat and Jabber which that's for um, Google Talk and there's a load of same time and I believe there's also other protocols that you can get for it which is nice uh, that's basically a quick overview of how to do this and also just in case you're wondering yes it does do tab chat and tabbed windows and uh, it's really easy to use and uh, I recommend it to anyone if you're using Ubuntu then you should definitely check this out uh, the one thing uh, oh, actually let me just show this to you first up here is you have your little uh, even if you close the window if you double click this it brings oops sorry single click not double click it'll bring up your buddy list so everything is there uh, the one thing is you will be missing a lot of features that's in the mainstream Windows versions of these messengers but if you're using Ubuntu that's basically a quick overview of how to uh, use g uh, game it comes with the operating system there are others available but most people will be using this and that's how you do it